hello everyone now uh, today we will make a simple mandala earring so you can see in my shop there are so many mandalas and people love them so the mandala is a shape in which a design repeats in a circle so I made this design and you can see uh, one of our customers made it into wood earrings so they look really elegant and you can find this design for free on designbundles.net the link will be in the description so these earrings are here and you can uh, download it for free for now this is a very popular design and this is just a mandala shape uh, or a shape inspired by mandala and here in my design bundle shop you can see there are so many mandalas this is a mandala this is a mandala so and this is a heart mandala this is a very simple uh, heart uh, cut out and with mandala and this is a mandala shape so these shapes are very popular and people buy them a lot you can see it on my Etsy shop they are so many so we are going to build a simple mandala earring in our illustrator file today so our working file is ready and what I'm going to show you how to make a simple mandala earrings so for earring dimension to keep that keep keep in mind how big I'm making these earrings I always put this two into two inch box right in the middle of my working file so I know how big uh, tall and wide my earrings are so I don't make them bigger so here for another working file I'm going to make a simple petal shape I'm going to select pencil tool and I'm just going to draw a shape like that and give it a color so maybe a different shape like that and now we are going to build our design on this shape so first of all i will clean this line a little bit because i do i want less anchor points i'll just go object path and simplify now it will give me less points and make this shape more smooth and I'm going to align this anchor point and this anchor point right in the center so oh, I think they are in the center so I'm going to select this and this so they are nicely aligned so that's good so we are building upon this shape starting from somewhere and now I'm going to transform reflect and hit preview and copy the this path and with the help of arrow keys I'm going to bring it to the other side and simply try to join this design I'll remove my guides so you can see what is going on so these are now two paths right opposite of each other and we need to make it into a shape because I'm going to go with this shape because I like this shape so I'm going to choose my direct selection tool hover over these two anchor points and select them and then go to pencil menu here and choose join tool and hover over these and they, it will make it into a beautiful uh, join a uh, shape and go to the lower part of the design and again deselect everything choose direct selection tool choose both of these anchor points and join them with the join tool hover them hover over them and it will make a shape so you can see now this shape is beautiful and right in the middle of the artboard I'm sure and now our shape is ready now this is a basic unit now I'm going to save it copy Control C Control V simple keep it on the side for the record so I don't lose my basic shape now I'm going to change it to stroke 
from from stroke to fill now i can see the shape clearly or we are making mandala so maybe keep it stroke keep it a stroke and i'll now increase the thickness so it will be it will easily cut in whatever material it is cutting now it will have material strength wood or leather and we have to inspect this design very clearly very closely now i know that i don't have much anchor points i just have this one and this one now when i will expand this shape to make a final shape fill in stroke now you can see this shape do not have much anchor points and it is it will be cut easily with the machine with the uh, cutting machine so i'll just go back and now I know how thick and nice this line is, which will which is suitable to the cutting machine software. And this, and now we can just put whatever type of design we think is will look good on a mandala. So this is a uh, this is a path which is six point thick. So now I'm going to just align it to the center of the artwork and now so our shape now our shape is somewhat looking good now to make it into this elegant mandala shape what we can do is to put simple lines simple and for that i can just choose my pencil tool and take this pencil from here to here like that and i will reduce the thickness of this line so it will look nicer and i'll just make it like five points thinner than the outside structure and i will just push it to this side and i will simply now what I do to make it a simple shape, simple uh, design element. Now I know I have this uh, line here. Now I'm going to transform, reflect and copy. And again, bring this line here to the other side of the design. What I do to make it perfectly aligned and perfectly in the middle of the basic design i select both of these i choose align to selection align them properly that they are vertically they are horizontally aligned and i am going to object expand and now these are objects they are no more lines anymore so i'm going to unite them now what i'm going to do now this is a separate object now you can see and this is a separate object now to align them perfectly to the i'm going to choose align to artwork and align now you can see it moved a little bit but this shape is ready to go simple elegant easy to make so these are aligned now i'm just going to select both of these in fact select this basic shape first turn it into a object from stroke so object expand and so now, so now this is no more stroke it is an object and this inner part is also an object so i'm going to select both of these and uni unite them now you can see this is how simply i built this design now i know again this box is two into two inch wide and tall so if i repeat this design it will stay in right in the middle of this box and this is there is a lot of experimentation so let's start so first of all i'll put a point right in the middle with the help of a pen tool so i can rotate everything around it and carefully align that right in the middle i'm going to group these two and again align them right in the middle and group and now i'm going to use transform here effect distort transform and transform and choose this little from this little tiny guide i'm going to choose 
this point right here it shows so now I'm going to hit preview choose angle of 30 and let's choose 5 5 times I want this design to repeat now they are bunched up but now I'm going to increase the angle let's see how it looks ah it looks perfect let's see how many these are one two three four five six i think this is good this looks beautiful so this is my design earring today i have made it in front of you to show you how easy it is now i'm going to again put some extra design features to make it suitable for uh, earring design and to put uh, whenever anybody wants to put a jump ring it will be easier for them for that I'll choose a circle just to provide enough material around a jump ring so it won't tear and it won't destroy this uh, destroy the design destroy the final earring when it will be done so now I'm going to select a dark color and for the jump ring hole I'm going to I work in inches so I choose point 10 point 10 and this is this will be my jump ring hole for this earring and I'm going to bring it right in the middle so you can see if I don't have this circle let's put it somewhere if I make this I can do whatever I want this is my design this is if you are making this this will be your design you are you do whatever you want you can fill this area and put this jump ring here and then you will have enough material around this jump ring so yeah so the machine will cut easily and jump ring will go through it easily but I'm going to put this is my choice this is my design so I'm going to put some material around this jump ring hole so when it will cut finally it will look good so first of all I'm going to align this so I'm going to choose a selection which only works on this and this earring I'm going to align them exactly in the center so they look visually pleasing so here you go and I'm going to bring them slightly on the top so I get more material around this jump ring hole now what I'm going to do is to check go to align artwork I'm going to align everything right in the middle so I know that this earring design is right in the middle of this uh, jump ring hole and again I'll just make copy control C simple 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 just make copies because this is an important part because you you just want to change this design and then in the end if you don't have your working copy then you, you it will be really difficult to replicate this design and all designs needs improvements so always keep your basic design structure what you have built on the side so you will always have a safe copy so now I'm going to select this circle and this design in fact I'm going to expand this design first let's see expand and unite so now this is a one block and now I'm going to join this circle to this one expand and unite now this is a one shape let me remove my two into two box and my guide so now you can see now this is a one shape and this is your jump ring hole now you can now if you we will punch this jump ring hole through this shape here you go select both of these and minus front here you go and in my opinion we have enough material around this jump ring hole to put the earring hardware here I can see I can show you here I have put this I have did this here same so now this earring is ready to go and today I made this very fresh 
design so now i will put this in my shop and put the link in the description so if you like my work and my svg designs please click subscribe and visit us again there are more videos coming up about how to make earrings thank you